Congressional lawmakers appear to be closing in on a spending deal that would keep the government open past the deadline of Thursday night at midnight. As Weijia Jiang reports, this comes as the president says he would welcome another government shutdown if he doesn't get a deal on immigration reform. Lawmakers on Capitol Hill say they are making progress on a bipartisan deal to avoid another government shutdown this year. I think we're on the way to getting an agreement and on the way to getting an agreement very soon. Tuesday, the House passed a short-term spending bill that would expire next month. Senate leaders are working on a two-year agreement that would increase spending for both the military and domestic programs, such as combating the opioid epidemic. But President Trump says if Congress doesn't pass immigration reform, he'd welcome a shutdown. Let's have a shutdown. We'll do a shutdown. And it's worth it for our country. Lawmakers from both sides of the aisle quickly denounce the comments. We don't need a government shutdown on this. We really do. I think both uh, sides have learned that a government shutdown was bad. He's the only guy that finds anything good in a shutdown. The president's remarks took many by surprise since the proposed two year spending deal doesn't include any immigration changes, which Congress is tackling separately. Last month's shutdown ended after Republicans in the Senate promised Democrats a vote on the DACA program, protecting undocumented immigrants who came to the U.S. as children. Why can't we have some kind of a commitment on this side of the aisle? Wednesday morning, House Minority Leader Nancy Pelosi said without a similar commitment from Speaker Paul Ryan, she and many other House Democrats will not support a long-term budget deal. Weijia Jiang, CBS News, Capitol Hill. Current protection for DREAMers expires March 5th.